everybody, it is your girl here, Jamie Lee Devine, coming at you today with a video all about love compatibility. Today, I'm going to be giving you my analysis on the compatibility of a Gemini man in a relationship with a Capricorn woman. Is it a match made in heaven or is it a match that heaven somehow rejected? <laughs> If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you love astrology, love, and life. Because that's what my channel is all about. Also, remember to click the notification bell so that you never ever miss an upload from me, okay? Because you don't want to miss it. First of all, let me just give you a little information, a little background information about both of these zodiac signs. Gemini is an air sign. Capricorn is an earth sign. Earth and air, usually not so great together. But we have Gemini, who rules the third house of communication, exploration also just early development you know this is the house of short distance travel you know so these are like these fun loving toddlers you know then we have capricorn that rules the 10th house the 10th house is all about that structure you know that stability these are adults you know these are Tenth, these are the fathers or you know the authoritative fig figures in our lives are really seen from the 10th house so what happens when you bring a toddler into the relationship with an authoritative figure what you're gonna get is basically a child with a parent to a certain extent and that's exactly what you don't want in a relationship a relationship should be based on equality to a certain extent, right? So, Gemini is really good at communicating, which probably drew the Capricorn in to begin with. Capricorns are very structured, they're very stable. They tend to be very logical in their thinking and their doing. Where Gemini is more like free-spirited, like they just want to, you know, they just want to explore. They just want to be free. So starting out, this could be a really nice couple, you know, because communication is just so sweet because they just like talking and Gemini's can be whatever they want to become when it comes to communicating. They can talk the pants right off of anybody. They can talk their way through any situation. They're usually very good at talking. So they never fall short when it comes to running their mouths, okay? Capricorns, on the other hand, they're very, very, very sturdy in their behavior. They're very mature. They're very, very mature. And they love talking to people who seem to be very mature. Gemini is a mutable sign, so Gemini can become whatever Gemini needs to become in that situation and in terms of communication. So Capricorn is already fooled by a Gemini that they are mature, they got their heads on straight because the way they're talking. As the relationship begins to progress into something greater and it becomes a little bit more deeper, this is when the true nature of both of these parties start to truly reveal themselves. Gemini's childish behavior really, really pisses Capricorn off because Capricorn is all about structure and stability and having something in life. They don't want to just run wild like like a toddler they want to have stability in their life they want to live their life like they are in a an adult you know they don't want to live like a child this really puts a damper on gemini's liberty because they're like come on you're not like have some fun loosen up you're just too uptight all the time capricorn and so this definitely starts setting up conflict for these for this compatibility 
because where Gemini wants to be explorative and just really enjoy life, go out, have fun, have drinks, spend money, not really worrying so much about tomorrow. Capricorn is more like, hey, what is wrong with you? What is your problem? You need to grow up. You need to learn to take, you need to learn how to take care of your responsibilities. You need to learn how to stay at home. You need to learn how to stay out of the streets. You're not a child anymore. Grow up, live life, go to work, pay your bills, set some type of routine in your life and stop just doing whatever comes to your mind so at this point capricorn woman becomes gemini's freaking parent or overseer or something that's how gemini probably feel in the relationship now of course you guys other things have to be implemented into the relationship compatibility such as the moon sign as well as your venus placement and mars the five personal planets will definitely play a major role but in this video we are talking specifically about capricorn's energy and gemini's energy and this compatibility started off well because again gemini is mutable Capricorn is cardinal. So it's like, yeah, they can kind of like start off extremely well. Capricorn who is all about order, structure, and routine. Then you have Gemini who's all about freedom, exploring, and fun, you know, just living. So you have people who speak totally opposite languages. So they're, they're gonna confuse each other. They're not gonna always be able to see eye to eye on a lot of different things. And in a relationship, you have two people coming together to agree on one idea. That's very difficult even when you're compatible, but when you're incompatible, it's even harder. So these two can have a very difficult time seeing eye to eye, being able to really find a common ground between the two, but however, whichever, it can be done. I do feel like Gemini do bring out the fun side of Capricorn. I feel like Capricorn feels a lot younger when they're in a relationship with a Gemini. And I do feel like an older Capricorn would do well with a younger Gemini because Capricorns tend to age backwards where when they're young, they're just so structured and they're so routined and they're just so focused on their career, their goals. And as they get older, they kind of like let their hair down and they kind of like want to have fun and they kind of like want to be like a kid again. So I do feel like an older Capricorn woman would do very well with a younger Gemini man. But I feel like if these two are at the same age, um, I do feel like it would just definitely be very, very difficult for them to sustain a successful relationship together. Now, when it comes to the bedroom scene, it is always going to be on and popping with these two because Gemini is going to bring a lot of fun. Gemini is going to bring a lot of exploring and lots of fun. Now, even though Capricorn is very routine and very structured, they can also be a little kinky in their bedroom sometimes. And then they can kind of be boring also, but it just all depends on the Mars placement here. But however, just dealing with this energy, Capricorn and Gemini, I definitely can see Gemini bringing out the fun side of Capricorn in the bedroom also, where they can definitely have a lot of fun. So I definitely can see the um, sex part keeping the relationship together a lot longer than it probably should last you know but um i definitely it's not like there's going to be a lot of passion i just feel like it's going to be a lot of physical activities because capricorns can be very physical gemini's having very young energy so there's a lot of physical you know action going on but i feel like the two can definitely lack passion because air does not have any type of substance and then you know like earth is very grounded so it's like yeah i i can feel the two feeling something is missing when it comes to passion overall i can see the two helping each other to a certain extent i can see capricorn helping gemini to be I can see Capricorn woman helping Gemini to gain more structure and structure in their life and Gemini helping Capricorn to just have a little bit more fun in their life. When it comes to like finances and things like that, I definitely feel like Capricorn is going to be the one to really be in control of the finances because Capricorns tend to be just very, very structured. You know, if 
If you are the Capricorn woman and you're not structured, then you may not be a true Capricorn. Just because your son is in Capricorn doesn't make you a true Capricorn, you know? So, um, I definitely would say Capricorn will be in control of the finances. Um, Gemini would definitely be the one, like, uh, not so in control. Because Geminis can be very childish when it comes to money or any situation. Where they may want to be like, oh, let's just pay half on this. Or let's just do this. Let's just do it this way or whatever. They can be very childish and they can be very selfish with their money. So, um, sometimes I... They can be very selfish and they can also be very childish when it comes to money. So Capricorn will definitely take the lead when it comes to taking care of the finances in this relationship and making sure that everything is taken care of. Now, I'm not saying that Geminis are, you know, uh, not capable because they are. I know like you have the ones that are born on the Taurus cusp. They're very responsible, you know, so it just all depends on the whole chart. This is just the compatibility of Capricorn and Gemini energy. So keep that in mind when you are watching the video. So don't make these weird, crazy comments that don't make sense to me because I really don't like them. I just don't like them um, because I, I just feel like you should learn more about astrology before you make comments. So overall, I just See this compatibility being a very difficult match i do i really do um i'm sorry um the question is is it a match made in heaven or is it a match that heaven somehow rejected it is definitely a match that heaven rejected but just because it was rejected it doesn't mean that you guys can't make it work it would just be very difficult and you're just gonna have to just really you know, constantly remind each other what you need in order to be happy. And I feel like that's a lot of work. And in a relationship, you shouldn't have to put in a whole lot of work. I feel like you should just, especially when it comes to your nature, I feel like your nature should be able to flow freely in a relationship. Now, when you have to make slight compromises, like, you know, you know, don't leave your clothes on the floor when you take your clothes off, okay? Just put them in the, okay? That's a compromise we're all willing to make, right? To make our relationship work. That's not a big deal. But when you have to change who you are, your personality, you know, I just don't feel like that's um, a relationship worth being a part of. Not saying that you guys will have to do that, but if you are in this compatibility and you do feel like you have to walk on eggshells to make the relationship work, then of course you already know you're not compatible. Compatibility is when you can be your true self and the relationship flows well and the two of you are very happy together. Now, with that being said, you guys, that's all I have. And until the next time, I wish you guys so much love, peace, and so many wonderful blessings. Bye.